when you have business in China, when you do business with the Chinese, and when you receive delegations from China, one of the very important things you need to do is to ossify your interpreters and the translators. What do I mean by ossify? What I mean is that you need to make your interpreters understand Australian situation, your company, your business. The reason for that is we Australians speak Australian English, which is different from British English and American English. We like to shorten words and we like to use Australian slangs. The interpreters from China, your partners may not understand situation in Australia. I can give you an example. One of the federal ministers went to China and promoting higher education. What he said in his speech in front of a large crowd was that the collaboration project between Australia and China is a trend setter for Australian and Chinese higher education sector. The interpreter either did not understand the accent or for some reason she translated it as the collaboration project is a training center for the two countries. When you receive delegations, we know that there are many delegations coming to Australia to study. And we have a lot to offer, not only in the intellectual property section, but also in many other areas that we do very well. And make sure that people understand you, understand your products and your services. One of the senior delegations come to Australia to study our pension system and superannuation system. And this system and seminar was given by a secretary of a department about a super fund. The interpreter was brought from China. She didn't understand our situation. Her interpretation was that this is about investment, superb fund given by a clerical secretary, a typist. So just prepare yourself, ossify your interpreters and you will have good results.